Hey uh, viewer, welcome to Wheatley TV. You're about to watch North Wheatley with Leverton first eleven take on Anston. So, Wheatley are in the field. John O'Ellis about to bowl the first ball of the game. And he's through in third ball of the game. What a start from John O. <laughs> Knew there was a reason for that good start. Washing's out, viewer. Right on the money, first ball. Top start from the John O. The lesser spotted Henry Patterson. Jordan coming to bowl. Decent start. Work down. And they still can't quite find this first run, Anston. Oh, that is a chaffer from Chono. Oh. Jordan coming around the wicket now. Oh, and he's through him. And uh, we're only into the fourth over here. Um, but Anson find themselves naught for two. George broke the bail with that one, so uh, we're going to have to get a spare. Anson's superstar overseas player from Sri Lanka, Dasan Senevaratna, facing Jordan Isles. <laughs> Dog's on his own with that one, I think. <laughs> oh. Solid Corden awaiting a nick from Jono's bowling here. Oh. That's a huge appeal and he's gone. Anston a one for three. That was a huge wicket for Wheatley. Dasson has uh, top scored this season with a cheeky 2-2-4. Two, two, <laughs> so uh, very, very handy player that we've seen the back of early. Uh, edge down for only Anston's second run or in the sixth over <laughs> oh my word what an opening spell this is from Wheatley's opening bowlers That's flicked over the top. First shot in anger, really, from Anston. It's going to be chased out by Cal Rutherford. He's back in the team, hence why the volume in the field might be slightly up today. And they come back for two. Oh! <laughs> nice bowling. Nicely guided down. Potential for buzzers, cut off by toppers. Put down. Time's had to go from first slip. And they settle for what? Well, these are ideal uh, seam bowling conditions, and Wheatley have got one of their strongest seam attacks of the season in this match with uh, Henry Patterson and 
just beyond uh, the umpire and Jord there, Cal Rutherford. And he's chopped on, and this is a disastrous start from Anston. Of course you can, mate. Oh, Jaws threw him second ball. It's six for five, and we haven't even had ten overs yet. And Eddie Fields, they come back for a rare two. That's flicked over the top. Uh, Cal's after it. We've had quite a bit of rain in this part of the world in recent times, but the chase has been given up. That's the first boundary for Anston in the 11th over. Just wait a minute. Oh, you got it. Um, <laughs> Nearly got his head. Yeah. yeah. Apart from us, all the. Uh... Oh, yes, <laughs> 15 for six. Scarcely believable. Just really good bowling from Wheatley. So that's drilled back down the ground and that's gone for four, what a lovely shot. Yeah, the, uh, before the match, you'd be forgiven for thinking that uh, Wheatley would be on the back foot in this one. Anston third in the table, they've had a brilliant season. Um, but Wheatley have absolutely started this game off like an express train. Brendan's way out on the Leg side, they set up a one. Oh, Jono gets his third. Brilliant stuff from him. Well, the carnage continues. No let up here. Lewis Brealy in for Anston here and. <laughs> Lovely shot by Mr. Brilliant. There's no one out there, but wouldn't need four runs. So, so can I, who are the three wickets of South Africa? I didn't have a stinking cold. I didn't really have a bark. I, I was oh, in there. <laughs> Halfway around London and that sort of stuff. Oof. <laughs> Wednesday I managed to walk around the block and then leave it at eight back up for a lovely Oh, yeah. Jaw gets him. Oh, you like this, Peggy? You know what I think of lower order defiance viewer. Love it. That's uh, two runs to Mr. Breeley. That's up in the air, but it's just eluded. Um, toppers at Gully, three men after it. Toppers wins the race and they get it back in for two. Oh, it's another edge. This time a bit firmer. George's after it. It's going to stop before the boundary. Henry gets it back in and another brace. This time off his legs. Flurry of runs here for Anston. A refreshing change for them. Or well, something you've come to expect from Wheatley TV viewer. Me getting stuff wrong. Uh, Jordan's on seven wickets. Jono's on two. Profuse apologies. Oh, a 
that's an edge. Jord gets eight for his most prolific spell for Wheatley. And this sorry innings from Anston is all over. Superstar performance from a superstar player. He really has performed brilliantly today, Jord. Pitch it up and brilliant bowling has gobbled up this Anston batting lineup. Let's see what Wheatley have got. They're chasing 33 for victory. So a quick turnaround here. Lads are straight back out and Dasson is going to be opening the bowling in a woolly hat. I'm not sure he's used to weather like this in Sri Lanka. We've got Skipper and Keeper opening the batting here. Eddie Toffs and Mad Dog after his heroics, or almost heroics last week, he'll be uh, facing the first ball. That's Wheatley's first run, a wide off the first ball. <laughs> what do you do? Lovely bowling. Again, lovely bowling. Oh, oh, good leave. Drilled back at him and start. I'm not sure that was Nash friend. <laughs> Shocking. That was a stinger. Got it. Oh, that's lovely bowling and dog goes. Tom facing his first ball at number three. Drive from Tom just into the covers for no run. What did it? What did he? That's really well bowled, but well dug out by Tom as well. That is drill back. Gosh, that was a poor bounce for a cover to deal with, but they come through for a single. We're joined by Jimmy Nixon View. How are you doing, Jimmy? I'm very well, Pexter. How are you doing, my friend? Not so bad, mate. You might be a bit shocked if you turn up to this match late. Yeah, I literally thought it was a one o'clock start, mate, and <laughs> apparently we're, we've got them up for 32. So. That's correct. Yeah. yeah, superb bowling. Jordan Aitfer. I know, yeah, he's cost me a fortune, he is. Gonna give that out. It's come off Tom's toes, and they come back for two leg buys. Job, that Daddy. is an absolutely imperious cover drive, and that's gone for four. We've got first team player Brendan Parker with us with some eye-watering stats, Brendan, about Jordan's spell. Well, 7.5 <laughs> overs, three maidens, eight wickets for six runs. Four of them were wides. <laughs> Good going. Not bad. Uh, good That's shot by Eddie to follow it up. Yeah, very nice. Down the ground, not timed perfectly, but they're going to settle for one. Nice bowling. Flick fine by Tom. That's a really nice shot. Can't bowl there to him. That's four. Again from Tom, but this time, oh, I thought it was well fielded by Square. Like it's actually gone for four. Lovely shot. A bit of spin coming on now for Anston. Change of pace. Wheatley are more than halfway to their target. It's not until you see this bowler from the back viewer that you can detect an absolutely Class Rascal. A mullet. Rascal hair. <laughs> Superb. Oh, as good as me. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, 
think. Uh, yes, Pumba. Nicely bowled. Good flight. Um. Oh, that slammed over the top by Eddie. Um, it's not going to go, actually, or is it? No, it's well fielded. Good work out there, and they come back for two. They said I'll get back to you. It's a swipe from Eddie. They're going to have to chase these, I think. That's done well, and it's another two. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Amused Cal. <laughs> Eddie comes down the pitch. That's an appeal, and he's been given. That's really well bowled. Oh, gosh, how is that missed? Yeah, smash sure. that rebel, Joe. Absolutely smash that over the top for four. Oh no, it's six. Four to win here for Wheatley. Yeah, Johnny! Wow, that's how you do it. That's another six and Wheatley wrap up. One of the most comprehensive victories you'll see on Wheatley TV. I didn't realise that. Well, I've worked out that I've got about 20 minutes of footage from this entire match view. I haven't had to change the battery. That's another sign that it's been a short one. Um, Wheatley's best bowling performance of the season by Miles. And Anson just had no answer to it. I think they were pretty unhappy with the pitch. But if you look back at these wickets, I can't recall one that's really misbehaved. Um, Wheatley all over Anson from the first over. And we're heading towards the last game of the season now. We'll be playing Papplewick at home next week. We'll see you there. All best.